at Adams Park after the game against Wickham. Uh, Mark, you've got to be delighted with the performance of the team. Yeah, uh, yeah, just two points dropped. Um, that's the only thing I'm... Listen, from where we were last Saturday, after the performance last Saturday, I got what I wanted. <laughs> we, we, um, we rather shot ourselves in the foot after three minutes. Gifted another calamitous goal, to be fair, but the response for that was fantastic. We we passed the ball with it. It's 30 odd degrees today, and it was absolutely sweltering. Both sets of players put in a big effort, but we were. You know, my keeper's not a safe to make. My keeper's not hardly touched the ball. Um, we didn't do enough second half to really go and grab it. You know, it was sweltering out there, and it, it was hard. But we. I felt we should have won at half time, I felt we should have been the one going on and winning it. Um, got it to them, they, they changed and, and made it difficult for us, but you know, we've still had enough chances to, to win the game. As you said, you came back superbly after that uh, after that third minute goal and uh, could have been level long before oh, yeah. the penalty. Yeah, yeah we, I, I asked the boys, I told the boys that I just wanted them to go out and pass the ball. You know, we hadn't, against Aldershot and against Accrington. That wasn't football, we, how we play. We, we, we needed a pass. We needed to make sure that we we um, took responsibility with the ball, and and we, and we did just that. I thought we we knocked it around superbly well. We just um, just not quite the finishing touch, but you know that'll come. Uh, lots of lots of pleasing things, and so from where we were last week, a hell of a lot better. You've made the choice to put uh, Keith Lowe into the side, and uh, not the best of starts for him. But uh, <laughs> the, the, could say that. the goal came from uh, from from your corner. Our corner. Too eager to win. We just they've broken us, but we're still in control. And the ball's come in, and I think Keith in desperation to clear it. I think Sam's just literally going to control it, and, and we're going to start on a, on a counter attack. But uh, it's the way you know it's the way things have gone last week, and, and it looked like it might continue. But like I say, they, they steadied themselves down. They they knew the importance of, of making sure that the belief was there, and, and that we didn't have to win it in the next two minutes. Um, and I say the, the difference in us today was was, was startling compared to, to to us last week in terms of number of passes made. I don't think we made I don't think we made 20 passes last week. I think we made you know plenty today. You made the changes in midfield as well, and um, Marlon Pack and Darren Carter were controlling the game. Super yeah, I, I thought they were excellent. Darren, that's Darren's first game in you know a competitive game, league game, if you like, for 14, 15 months, maybe more. And he, he was, you know, he had a little testing tackle in the last minute that I was, I was hoping he'd get up from. I, I thought he was outstanding, and, it, and he'll only get better for us. Um, I thought Sam Deering was causing, causing them all sorts of problems. Um, you know, we've come away to a, it's a tough place to come. We're disappointed that we haven't won, but we, you know, we, we can take a lot of heart from, from things that, that happened today. As you said, second half they, they came back into it, and you, you had to, would, as you would expect, and you had to withstand a little bit towards the end. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I, I wanted us to keep the energy levels up. You know, we were well, by far the brighter side first half, and um, you know they, they they managed to to dig in a bit in the second half, and, and we we just I say it was, the pitch was sticky a number of number of times. Not just one player, but three or four players that I can remember. We're, we're breaking, we're passing the ball, and it's just getting caught under feet on the on the on the dry grass. Um, See they're watering it now, which you know, unfortunately, we could have done with that. We could have done with that, you know, a bit nearer to kick off. But that's that's what we're going to have to come up against at times. Um, it just didn't happen for us when we, you know, even at the end, we're still pressing and pressing and pressing, and we've still had three or four great chances in the last six or seven minutes. Yeah, you go, go back home again for, for two tough home games with Southend and Oxford coming up. Every game's tough, without a shadow of a doubt. Whoever you play has got. Good strong players. It's a good strong league, competitive. Um, lots of teams playing decent football. At the minute, everyone's just trying to find their feet and position in the league after six, eight, ten games. And you know we're no different. We, you know, we got belief in what we're trying to do. Um, the more performances like today, then, then the better. And finally, a word for for Conor Roberts, a young goalkeeper, getting uh, called into the, yeah. the Wales Under 21 squad today. Yeah. Another feather in the cap for him and for the club. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's great for him. We, we, we knew he was in and around it um, anyway, and Stevie's done a good job with him over the couple of months that he's been here. Um, and, and, you know, good luck to him.
Okay, thanks very much. Bro. Cheers. Okay, Sean certainly stuck the penalty well, well, didn't he? I thought he was superb first half. I thought he, everything stuck. His work rate was really good. He was a he was a threat. But we just we just didn't get enough shots away. Really, not 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 Sean, but you know, just our, our final products just got to improve at the moment. You mentioned the passes last week. You didn't have twenty all game. There, there were times today we had more than twenty in one move. Probably, yeah, listen, I asked them to. You know, I wanted us to be more like what we are. I wanted us to get on the ball. Um, Darren Carter had that. You know, we all saw it in the reserve game how assured he is he's, of his touch and his, of his place on the pitch and, and, and what's around him. And I thought he showed that today, along with Marlon, who's been doing it all season. Sam, Sam was, I thought Sam was really good. I just wanted to get some fresh legs, and I thought it might be a day for. You know, we talked about the, before before the game that the substitutes come on and should come on and make a big impact. It's you know 30 odd degrees. I'm being on on the pitch side and. And it was going to be an effort from from the whole squad, and you know we nearly got that. Zeb's got in. Jeff's had a couple of, you know, one made a great save. One is he's just just raised over the bar, and it's it was nearly nearly a really good day. Yeah, some people might think the team were looking on paper is a bit open, but in terms of you know, like I said, Scott Brand didn't have anything to do. So it no, I mean there are a couple of long range efforts second half, and a, and a couple of crosses from Ainsworth. Um, but I th- you know, Scott has literally not had a save to make all, all game. Even the goal, the own goal, we had no chance with. Um, but you know, yeah. eventually we've got to start turning that into wins, and um, you know that'll be the objective now between now and next Saturday. Yeah.